BRICS invites Arab nations to join the bloc, and profits for the UAE's top four banks soar 68%. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Leaders of the BRICS group of developing nations have invited Saudi, the UAE, Egypt, Iran, Ethiopia and Argentina to join the bloc that aims to grow the power of the global south. It comes as geopolitical polarization is boosting efforts by Beijing and Moscow to create a counterweight to the West including top oil producers Saudi, Iran, the UAE and Brazil, would bring energy giants together with the developing world's largest consumers. It would also enable BRICS to conduct energy trade in currencies other than the U.S. dollar. Saudi's total merchandise exports plunged 39.7 percent year-on-year to $23.7 billion in June. They were hit by a drop in oil exports, which plummeted by 38.3 percent year-on-year to $19.2 billion. But the share of oil in total exports rose to 81 percent in June from 79.1 percent for the year-ago period. The Saudi economy grew moderately in Q2 by 1.1 percent, a much slower pace than the previous quarter. Official data shows it was dragged down by dwindling oil activities. Meanwhile, Russia's oil major Gazprom Neft saw a 43% drop in Q2 net profit to $1.5 billion on the back of a decline in sales. The oil arm of gas giant Gazprom also said its April to June total revenues decreased to $8.7 billion from $8.85 billion in the same period of 2022. The UAE's four biggest banks saw profits rise 68% in this year's first half to $7.4 billion. Moody says the higher profits of FAB, Emirates NBD, ADCB and DIB were driven by both higher interest and non-interest income as business activity remains strong. Moody says interest rates and increased business volumes drove net interest income up 37% year on year. The big four account for 77% of the UAE's banking assets. Turkey's central bank delivered a huge surprise today by raising the interest rate to 25%. The hike of 7.5 percentage points follows a 2 percentage point increase last month. It's part of a transition from President Erdogan's era of unorthodox economics. Boeing has found a fresh defect in its 737 MAX jets that could deal another blow to deliveries. The problem involves wrongly drilled holes in parts of the aircraft. It's assessing whether the problem will now cause it to miss a target for 400 deliveries this year. It's unclear how many planes will need to be fixed. Earlier, the MAX was grounded for almost two years following two fatal crashes that were traced to its flight control systems. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes real-time billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's wealthiest people. And the NVIDIA-driven tech rally is evident here with our biggest winner today, Alphabet's Larry Page, up $2.7 billion with net wealth of $111.9 billion. Our second biggest winner today is Elon Musk, up $2.6 billion and now with net wealth of $233.9 billion. And our third place winner is Alphabet's Sergey Brin, up $2.5 billion with net wealth of $106.2 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news and staying with tech semiconductors designed to execute AI workloads will generate up to 53.4 billion dollars of revenue for the semiconductor industry this year that's according to the latest forecast from Gartner it's a 20.9 percent rise from last year Gartner says by 2027 AI chips revenue is expected to reach more than double the size of the market this year at 119.4 billion dollars it says many more industries and IT organizations will deploy systems that include AI chips as the use of AI-based workloads in the enterprise matures. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.